Boonville is a ghost town in southeastern Brown Township, Vinton County, Ohio, United States. Little remains of the former mining community except for a few foundations, a cemetery, and an abandoned railway tunnel which is subjected to numerous ghost stories. In 1856, the Marietta and Cincinnati Railroad was pushing through southeastern Ohio to reach Cincinnati. William Cutler, the owner of the railway system, was having financial problems and was looking to streamline and conserve money while building the railway. A man named Samuel Coe convinced Cutler to build a railroad on his large property for free. In exchange for a favor, the railroad would run route through Coe's land in order to haul coal and clay off his property. This move saved the railway a great deal of money and reduced the distance of the railroad traveling to Cincinnati. Several coal mines sprang up, and it was found that there was a rich supply in the immediate area. Soon, the mining town of Moonville was born. Moonville was never a big town, with a peak population in the 1870s with a little over a hundred people. It was thought to be named from a man named Moon who once operated a store in the town of Moonville. Walking the tracks was incredibly dangerous and was made even more hazardous by two long trestles in the area and the long Moonville tunnel. One trestle stood over Raccoon Creek less than 50 yards away from the tunnel's mouth. By 1920, six people lost their lives on the bridge or within the tunnel. The last fatality was reported in 1986 when a 10-year-old girl was struck by a locomotive on the trestle directly in front of the tunnel. However, there was no record of the 10-year-old girl's death online anyways. In 1887, the railway was bought by the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Company. It quickly became part of a vital line from St. Louis to Washington, D.C. Train traffic increased dramatically. While the town entered a, a, a dip in uh, the population from which never recovered, by the turn of the century, the coal mine slowly started to use up and close down. The last family left in the town in 1947 by the town of itself was abandoned. By the 1960s all the buildings were gone and there was little to mark on the site other than the town cemetery and the tunnel. The legends of Moonville Tunnel include several spooky tales of ghosts that still haunt visitors to this day. The legends include four different ghost stories. Those ghosts are named by the engineer, the brake man, the lavender lady, and the bully. The engineer is to be believed to be a ghost engineer that died due to a tragic train head-on collision. 
It is said that the engineer could only see a bright light before life was tragically taken from him. News reports on the engineer making statements about seeing ghostly figures wearing a white robe while holding a lantern in, in blind light. The engineer also reported seeing the ghostly figure walking across the tracks. It got so bad that engineers that uh, piloted a train through the tunnel were told if they did see a moving light to keep going and don't worry about it. So it was actually probably true that something was definitely going on in the Moonville Tunnel at this time. The brake man is believed to be a ghost of a drunken young man who was working as a brake man. The legend says that the visitors have seen a ghostly figure holding a lantern while walking alongside the tracks and through the tunnel. Visitors have also taken pictures of the tunnel and when they get their picture developed they find a figure or person in their pictures that they do not remember being there when they took the photo. This picture figures is the believed to be the brake man. The Lavender Lady. Visitors of the Moville Tunnel have said that they have seen a thin elderly woman walking alongside the trail. They say as they watch her she seems to cross the trail and then falls but before she can make contact with the ground she disappears into thin air. Now there's really no record of any old lady getting hit by a train back in the days. So people really aren't sure why she's haunting the tunnel. But hey, she's there, people see her. So it's still a pretty cool story about the Lavender Lady story. The bully is to believe to be a ghost of Baldy Keaton. Baldy Keaton was a resident of Moonville and decided to get drunk one night. The legend says Baldy was a man that liked to be in fights when he got drunk. The legend also says the Baldies was to bear hug his opponents and then pretty much squeeze the life out of them. When Baldy was at the saloon he decided to fight someone and a group of men had to work to kick Baldy out of the saloon. On Baldy's way home he walked over the Moonville Tunnel and met up with a group of uh, younger uh, people that didn't like how he bullied everybody around what in town. When life down. So they threw him off Moonville Tunnel. When Baldy's body was found Much. it looked like his body was ran over by several trains. So now they say the ghost of Baldy uh, roams around the Moonville Tunnel looking for that group of younger people that threw him off the tunnel and led him to his death. So he's not at rest and he's always looking around so he shows himself when he sees sometimes a group of people and he's wondering if it was them who threw him off the tunnel that dark night. They also say the ghost of Baldy, what he does is he stands on the top of the tunnel and sometimes when visitors approach he will throw pebbles down at them just to get back at what happened to him when he was thrown off the top of the tunnel. Life, 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 life. With the town long gone the train traffic continued to increase on a single track line. In 1973, the Baltimore and Ohio merged with the Chesapeake and the Ohio Railway. 
and the Western Maryland Railway to form the Chesapeake system. Train traffic doubled with as many as 14 trains per day. Life. 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 In June 1985, announced by the line between Chamberlain, Maryland, and Cincinnati would re reduce to a secondary status and the last scheduled freight train passed through Moonville in August. Trains continued to run until the line was abandoned and the rails pulled up in 1988. The area remains accessible and the old roadbed provides access to tunnels planned to turn the area into formal rail trail. The Moonville Rail Trail has been Im implemented six and a half miles of trail are currently open with nine and a half miles plus 12 bridges still needed to connect the whole railway trail to make it a lot longer. There was a lot of other deaths related to the Moonville Tunnel too. Uh, because it came such to a narrow trestle Engineers or people just walking the tracks always feared near Moon T Moonville Tunnel. They were always ready for either the train to sneak up on you if you're walking the tracks, or the engineers going through the tunnel would always see weird lights and they were told many times just to keep going. But to this day, a lot of people like to visit Moonville Tunnel and my brother Ben and I we're hoping maybe in the fall that we could probably go there and, uh, and do an investigation. But there is hours on the tunnel. I hear it's only open till midnight and then it reopens I think at maybe 7 o'clock in the morning. And a lot of police patrol that area to make sure no one's in between the hours of 12 and 7 a.m. So uh, we're going to try to do an investigation here, but uh, this is Andy, and I hope you uh, enjoyed the video, and subscribe to Other Side Research, and I'm hoping to get some more videos this year in, but due to this coronavirus, it's going to be a little difficult. I'll be doing maybe a few more videos like this, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, keep watching our stuff because it's just going to get better and better. Thanks, guys.